Biggest news of the week, cancer treatment just took a massive leap forward. Nearly half of people living with cancer are living 10 years or more. That's double what it was in 1970. But here's where things are getting really interesting. Scientists are creating personalized mRNA vaccines, which are custom built for your tumor's DNA. They take a biopsy of your tumor, they find its unique mutations, and they build a vaccine to train your immune system to find the cancer and kill it. Not many people know this, but this new technology of using the body's tissue as a vaccine, that's the way vaccines were 100 to 200 years ago. Vaccines were made in the clinic with the patient's blood. The doctor would draw the blood, extract the serum, and which is the water part of the blood, and put that right back into the body. It's called an autogolous vaccine. Auto means self, logos means study of, autogolous. So the body is studying itself because you're taking that serum and putting it in, and in the serum is all the toxin, all the viruses, organisms, and the body goes, oh, what's this? Is this a toxin? And it identifies it and removes it, but also cleans up the whole body from head to toe of that toxin. Or if there's a virus in that serum, the body goes, what's this? I see it now. And then it cleans up that virus from head to toe. So the original vaccine was from the patient's own body. And originally you've heard of the, the smallpox and the cowpox vaccine. Well, doctors back then were immediately thinking, putting a cowpox pustule inside a person, that doesn't make sense. Why don't we just use our, the person's own blood sample? So this is not new at all. I'm glad that they're rediscovering it and having good results with cancer, but let's not also forget about the excess sugar intake, parasites cause cancer, mold causes cancer, toxins cause cancer. So there's a lot more to do than just using an autogolous vaccine, whether it's old school or mRNA based on the, the tissue biopsy.